Okay, so in a previous video, we built our basic bread and butter HTML tags, which quite frankly, I just want to keep this so simple, it's frightening. It doesn't consist of much, much. it's just the asterisk tag, the body tag, the paragraph tag. The only div tag we have right here is the upper tag. Okay, now in a previous video, double quick, we set the wrapper tag to be 100%. This will be flexible to the width of the browser or the width of the iPhone or the width of the tablet size. Now, a couple different things we want to do to that. We're going to get down here to property here. Very important step here. We're going to select wrapper. We're going to say add property. Now, if you looked at previous videos of mine, we click add property, but we don't click here. We click the menu, the drop down menu. We don't type into here. We click the drop down menu. Once the drop down menu is selected, we're going to type in max hyphen width, max width, hit the turn key. Okay, so we add a property, max width. We're going to set the max width of this to be 960 pixels. 960 pixels using the 960 grid method. Okay, make a change, save a change. So now it's in the center of our page. All right, so, so far I just want to share with you guys, we simply just have, I want to make this enjoyable and simple for you at the same time. So we just have basic bread and butter HTML5 tags on our page. We haven't set the tags yet. We haven't even created the HTML5 tags yet. We just basically typed in header, comma, nav, comma, section, comma, and I'll explain exactly why I did that in just a second. Nobody else uses this technique. That's the reason to buy my videos. I share with you production techniques you're not going to find elsewhere. I don't care who's teaching it. Adobe themselves doesn't, doesn't teach this stuff, okay? These are my personal production techniques. Back in 92, 93, 94, I was hired by Adobe as a consultant to go to California and show them best practice how to use their own products. That's how good I am. If you don't think I'm that good, then quite frankly, don't subscribe to my service. Don't buy my videos, okay? I'm here to help you, okay? So how do we do this? We double-click header, okay? Why are we double-clicking? Because it's better than clicking and dragging. I'm going to copy the word header. Why am I copying? Because I don't want to reinvent the wheel. I don't want to copy. I don't want to type it again. I already typed it once. We're going to double-click header. Command-C, copy. Control-C, Windows. Now, at this point, guys, you should definitely know how to copy and paste. If you don't know how to copy and paste, you should not be watching this video. You should watch somebody's video on how to copy and paste. I, I, I'm very serious about that. Copy, paste, Command-C, Control-C, Windows, Command-V, Macintosh, Control-V. So I'm not going to keep repeating myself. Okay, I'm going to copy that. Command-C, then I'm going to quick tech editor, Command-Key, T, Windows, Control-T. Paste, return key once, twice. There's the header tag. Then I'm going to double click, nav, copy, command C, command T, command T, quick tag, editor, paste, return key once, twice. Now, pay close attention here. The article tag is going to be inside of the section tag. So I'm going to double click section, copy that, then I'm going to select section plus article, and I'm going to command key T, control T for Windows. That's just quick tag editor. Command T Macintosh, Control T Windows. Paste, return key once, twice. Now, important step here. Look down here for a second. Article tags inside the section tag. That's a good thing, but I want article tag in addition to being inside the section tag, I want article tag to be inside its own tag. So I'm going to copy that, Command T, paste, return key once, twice. Now the article tag has a tag structure, but the article tag is inside the section tag. Okay, then the side tag, double click copy, command T, control T, windows, paste, return key once, twice. Footer, same thing, copy, command T, paste, once, twice. Now, why did I put these commas in here? Right? Now, the reason I put the commas in there is I'm a lazy guy. I don't like to read that the we hook. So I'm going to select this content here. And I'm going to copy that. Now, why am I going to copy that content? Because, because, very important step here. These HTML5 tags have to be set to a block of type, a block level element. So let me explain what I'm talking about. I'm going to select the H header tag. Select the tag, come out here to my tag selector, select the tag, make a rule. 
In order to affect the tag, we need to select the tag. We're going to make a new CSS rule, less specific. So we're going to say that this header tag, this header tag is going to have a box height of, say, 75 pixels. Now, if I hit 75 pixels, at the apply option, watch what happens. It doesn't change it to 75 pixels, okay? Because this needs to be set to a block of type, a block of type. So what we need to do here, I'm going to cancel that for a second, okay? And I'm going to set all these tags to a block of type. So how do I do that? I come down here, I make a new rule. I have nothing selected. I have nothing selected. I'm going to make a brand new rule. A combination rule, that's what compound stands for. Combination is more than one tag. We're simply going to paste. Copy, paste. I selected copy, I paste. So it's header, comma, nav, comma, section, comma. I'm going to set all these tags to a block level element. So block, based on these choices, we're going to set the display as, as a block of type. So therefore, the advantage of this technique, guys, make a change, save a change, is I don't have to set each one individually. I can s set them as a group, which I just did by selecting them, copying, and pasting. Now I have no use for these comments, so how do I get rid of the comments? Command F, bind, Control F, bind. The oldest trick in the book. It's as old as word perfect from 1978. Command F, bind, Control F, bind. We're going to find comma. Replace it with nothing. Find text, comma, replace it with nothing. Put nothing here and replace all. Okay, now those comments are gone. Okay, make a change, save a change. We'll finish building our responsive web design in our next video.